This is Twit. A Windows computer and it fits in your pocket. Yeah, now I've been, I've been reading about this. In fact, there's a whole uh, subreddit on Reddit about it. It's GPD, the gaming pocket device. Okay. Are you ready? I, show, yep. show, show, my, show me the money. Show my pocket. This is it. That's a laptop okay. computer. To be fair, that's a big pocket, <laughs> right? I mean, it's not that big. It's a seven-inch screen. Ooh. It's a Windows 10 device, although, and I'm very excited about this, I'm going to be able to put uh, Linux on it as well. They offer an Ubuntu distribution that's tuned. Let me just log in real quickly if you'll hide your uh, eyes. Monkey123 uh, is not a secure password. I know, but no one else knows it. Uh, and uh, oh, let's see, I just ran Windows Update, so I won't restart now. But because I logged into my, it has my window. This is a beautiful seven-inch high-res screen. So now this is this is not S. This is full-featured Windows. Full-featured, or oh. and I plan to put Linux on it. And if it, this is it's four ninety-nine. This is a USB three. It's got a, a mini HDMI port, a regular uh, headphone uh, microphone jack, and this is a Type C port, which works as data, but also as a charger. That's the charger. That's right the charger. Very good battery life. I'm getting four to six hours of battery life on this thing. Now, of course, the biggest thing you're going to sacrifice, a couple of things. First of all, it is a small screen, a seven-inch screen, although it's a touch screen, which makes it kind of kind of fun. In fact, uh, because it's a touch screen and it's so high resolution, I feel like it's actually pretty usable. And And depending on what you're doing, this is a really great tool for, you know, bringing along maybe to check your ring video doorbell uh play video games i reason i want to put linux on here is i want to put a command line and right. use the command line It'd be great for that so that's the other thing you've got to question is well what am i giving up in terms of keyboard size you can see these are almost full-size keys they made the important keys almost they're full big size. and then they doubled up on things like the number row and the function key row and then there's a little shift on the right but there's a full uh, arrow key t as you would expect on a normal computer alt and control on the right hand side of the spacebar spacebar they split and that's because they have a track point style mouse pointer so you can't of course connect a mouse ah, with it it's got a usb port it's the old nubbin but it's a nubbin and i think it works quite well left and right mouse buttons uh, too and that combined with the touch i think is very usable i don't i have no trouble uh, using i was kind of surprised i type fairly accurately not perfectly accurately and there is as i said a lot of interest in this it was an indiegogo they've made other computers the gpd makes a win computer but this is their smallest most powerful for 499 you get an atom processor running at about a one and a half gigahertz probably it, a dual core or a yeah dual core, core. Yeah. it's decent speed 8 gigs of RAM, which is unusual for a computer right, at that price, right. and 128 gig SSD. Okay. So it's a very perf it's a performant computer, and this is a unibody aluminum uh, case. So it it it, it feels kind of pro. 7,000 milliamp hour battery gives you enough nice. battery life on something like this to last a few hours at least. Yeah, an ARM processor on a 7,000 milliamp hour battery. I mean, you're, you're well, it's an Atom, not an ARM. It's a oh, full. Atom. It's an Intel processor. It's EMC uh, SSD, so you get some good, EMMC, so you right. get some good performance on this. I think this is a really interesting device. 499 though means it's not a, a, a impulse purchase. It's a cost of a regular laptop. It's a little pricey, but I see the use case for this because it actually has a physical keyboard attached. It's not connected via Bluetooth. Right. It's Look not an on-screen keyboard. That that does give it some some very interesting use points. And uh, you know, it reminds me a little bit of my old Scion, which I loved. Yeah. I loved having a. It's a little bigger than that, but I, it's I had an thing. HP um, a Jornada. Right, the same, Jornada, same kind of remember idea. that? Yeah. And for a while, Toshiba made those mm -hmm. extra small laptops. But that's a category that's kind of disappeared. They call it a UM Ultra Mobile PC, a UM PC. I think you're right, though. I would love Linux on this because this would be my command line PC. So that's going into a data exactly center, how it's in my back it. pocket. I hook it right. up to a switch. I can do all the configuration I need. And uh, use a chat room on it. It'd be yeah. great for the chat room. Uh, they have to do, of course, some special stuff to make Ubuntu run on it, basically provide drivers for their hardware. But it's pretty generic hardware. Uh, the, they have a, I don't, and I don't really understand this. I was going to do the review and then put Ubuntu. I'll do that tonight. Uh, it's a different BIOS as well as mm. different operating system for Ubuntu. So I don't know exactly why that is. They're doing something, obviously, in the BIOS to make it more compatible with Ubuntu. They claim on their website, almost no laptop runs with Linux. That's far from true. That's I put Linux on almost true. all my Windows laptops. So this isn't the only Linux laptop. This is not there. running UEFI, is it? 
Oh, that's an interesting maybe, question. Maybe they I should go into BIOS. For the, for the Linux that's BIOS. probably you know what yeah. that's probably what they do. It's probably a UEFI BIOS for Windows, secure boot, and all of that. And it's probably the Linux handles uh, UEFI just fine. And in fact, you can even get signed versions of Linux right. that will work with the secure boot. But secure boot often provides uh, some challenges for people. Yes. So maybe the BIOS is just simply a, a simple legacy BIOS, not using UEFI, or they eliminated secure boot, making it a little bit more compatible. I'm not sure. I will give you an update on this. But I have to say, so far, I love it. I took it on our trip. We went down to Anaheim for podcast movement, the big podcast expo, and I didn't bring a laptop. I just brought this. And you, it fits perfectly in a jacket pocket, a trousers front pocket, uh, of course, a briefcase or purse. And it's not heavy. This, this is perfect as a uh, uh, photographer's companion. You've got the card slot on it. Uh, or, or no, you've got the uh, USB, USB. Yeah. so you could you could uh, connect your camera to it, and it gives you a, a decent screen. It's actually a really good screen. I think the color is excellent, and it's a full high def. That's nice on a seven inch screen, which means it's very high DPI. It's a two thirty to forty DPI. It's very very. This good. is a Kickstarter. It was an Indiegogo. An Indiegogo. Yeah. And I, you know, it might have been less. I think it was fifty bucks less if you got it on Indiegogo, which makes it more attractive. But I bought it on Amazon, got two day delivery. Oh, that's nice for four ninety nine. That's very nice. It's a it's a Chinese company. The GPD stands for Gaming Pocket Device or Gamepad Digital. Maybe that's what it stands for. Gamepad Digital. Uh, they're out of Shenzhen, China, but I'm very impressed. I feel like this is, and I guess now they're selling five thirty nine, but that includes a a case or something like that. So. Um, I wouldn't get it on Indiegogo. I just was able to get it on Amazon delivered right away. There are, as I said, there's a fairly active now uh, <laughs> pocket. That's me. Compare that. That's a good picture because... It looks like your laptop had a baby. That's the tiny... <laughs> that looks like... The, the, the laptop on the right is a MacBook. So it's a, it's a small laptop to begin with. The GPD is even smaller. So there you go. Uh, I just thought I'd pass that word along. I wanted to that, do... It's actually very cool. Yeah, I, I want to put Linux on it and uh, have more updates for you as uh, time goes by.